Hey folks, Steve here with another 1918-1919 storm in the West video. Uh, this one is, uh, much to my chagrin, a, a, a needed one. Um, we are restarting our gameplay, uh, our, our playthrough, um, mostly because uh, I, it, things were really bad um, in the previous try. So we were getting to like turn three, it dawned on me we, we could not keep the game going and I had to restart. I did play off camera turns four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and yeah, I totally screwed up the German setup. Um, I wasted a lot of their offensive capability in the, how I sort of situated things, uh, and it just was not not worthwhile to keep it going. I mean, I did play through, <laughs> just not on camera, and the Germans lost. They they simply were shattered. They did not meet their morale check requirement on turn nine because they had just falling apart up here, and the Allies were starting to take territory beyond the German trenches, so um, we're restarting. We're restarting, and so I've set up the board again for turn one, so everything is back to kind of where it's supposed to be, um, and in terms of the setup and what's different, there's not a huge amount that's different for the Allies. Um, they are mostly the same. Uh, I did set up where not every hex is covered, um, because I sort of knew that's how the Germans were going to set up, but, you know, I set up a little th more thinly down here along. I'm doubled up in a couple hexes over here, just to provide the French with a little more oomph down there, because they would like to remove Big Bertha, if they can. And then for the Commonwealth, um, you know, they're pretty similar to how they were set up before. Sort of, they have to set up along here, uh, but I did put uh, some of their better units... Uh, in some of the sketchier places of the line where uh, we expect there to be a lot of action. Um, and then in reaction to that, the Germans set up, in which you can see um, I'm leaving a hex in between empty. Um, I try to find places where I could leave two hexes in between, but that's really hard to cover. Um, you, you can very often find a way for a French unit to advance into the German trench hex, and I don't like that. Um, so very, very thin, couple spots I've smushed some stuff together just to protect some of these areas, um, but much more thinly defended, scarily uh, in my mind. It's just like, it's just so thin. If you lose, if, you're, if your line gets unhinged in one place, you could have a lot of problems, but the ideal situation as the Germans is going to be that we're going to have so much going on up here that, you know, all the replacements, all the reaction, all the activity there, on the Allies' part, is going to be dealing with us up here rather than making a lot of gains down here. We are probably going to see the French tanks drive up through here, uh, unless I can, you know, very quickly, you know, smash the Allies so hard that it, even that won't matter. The thing to keep in mind is, even if you lose this area, it's not like there's a lot of places to go. There's not a lot of VP areas around here, so the Germans can kind of take stuff away from the center if they really wanted to at this point. Um, but you can see, predominantly, um, the vast majority of our hexes that are filled way up are up here in the north. And in fact, they're set up uh, much to the advice of uh, some folks in the comments section for previous videos where, uh, in some of the hexes, I have a regular 564 unit with two assault Stoss Troopen units with some Stoss Troopen uh, behind the main line who can follow any advancements. So we have a good, consistent, strong uh, advance through here. And it's just set up, I basically have one, two, three, four, five, six hexes that are sort of loaded up to be our offensive. Um, and that's kind of split on the advice of somewhere between five to nine. I decided to go with six hexes um, suited up for, for offensive operations. So that's the setup. Um, it's going to be a little, little different. We're going to have much higher... Uh, combat odds up here that may be very bloody, but we'll have the preponderance of steps that we can take losses and still advance, hopefully break the British line. And again, uh, my goal is to have a shortcut, not a long cut like this, but a shortcut through the line to the coast to take the channel ports and achieve automatic victory, or a very good victory, as the case may be. So that's the basic setup, and I'll, I won't waste too much more time. We'll start getting into turn one here uh, right away. Something I learned um, in the last playthrough as I was getting past turn three was that if I'm not talking, <laughs> uh, 
and I'm not explaining, and I'm just going, making decisions, and rolling dice. This game actually goes really fast. It's a fast-playing game, ultimately. It may not seem that way, but when you kind of get to the point where it's like, I'm not, as the Germans, I'm not attacking down here. I don't have the forces to do it. I, it's almost like I can ignore that whole section, and you kind of know where you're even likely to be able to attack at all on the map, and, and you're really just, you know, looking down the line, where's the attack, what, what can we do, roll the dice, keep going. Um, where do you want to try? Is it worth it? Real quick, quick decision, move on. Um, and so I'll say, like, when I look back at the turn one video before the restart, and it's like an hour and a half long, or whatever it is, um, that is really long because of so much explanation that I did here. I, I think for this restart and the rest of this playthrough, I'm not going to do as much explaining. Um, I mean, we'll obviously talk about the pertinent attacks as we get going, but as the game rolls on, I'll probably do less and less of that, and we'll probably even get to the point where I can fit multiple turns into one video um, if I'm just moving very, very quickly. Um, yeah, at least that's the goal, so I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to think through doing that. Um, but, yeah, we're, we're going to get started here. So the German player turn, initial supply phase. Everybody's in good shape for supply. Um... Replacement phase, we have 24 replacement points at the beginning, nothing to add to that and nothing to use it on. Uh, no strategic movement, we're set up where we want to be. Um, I will point out that we do have uh, our artillery, uh, special heavy artillery unit up here to support our major offensive. And this is really where the action is going to be for the first uh, combat phase. Uh, German movement, there's nothing to do. We're, we're already set up where we want to be, basically, so there's nothing... You know, I can't see anywhere I would like to move that wasn't already addressed. And so we're going to get into the first combat phase right away. And again, uh, to what I mentioned before, I, I, you know, is there any point in attacking along here? No. Uh, even more so because um, the actual units that are there are the trench units, the 143s predominantly. So all along here, we're not even going to think about attacking. Not even here, really, because if we did, I mean, we could do... We could maybe do some damage, but then we would leave ourselves weakened along the line defending Big Bertha. I don't think we want to do that. Um, even over here, I don't think we want to. We want to keep that line strong. So it's really, you know, the only attacks we're going to have uh, for this turn uh, at this point are, are really going to be in this focused area. Not a whole lot, right? Um, so we'll get to rolling here in just a second. But I just want to talk again. It, we can hyper-focus. There's no point in doing a bunch of little attacks all across the line. That's not going to help us. We need to focus here, attack here, and that's going to get us where we need to be. Okay, so we're going to do the first uh, German combat phase, and uh, things to keep in mind that, yes, for Stoss-led attacks, we are going to get plus two. Um, the Allied Trench is only going to do a minus one. So, so assuming we're attacking flat, you know, terrain, uh, we should be looking at a plus one to our die rolls wherever we go. If there's some other terrain, like rough, then it'll be a flat die roll uh, wherever we go. Um, if we have an attack with the artillery, which we get one of per combat phase, that will be another plus one for us. Otherwise, I think all the other um, uh, modifiers, I think, you know, if we look at EEP, that actually is going to be another modifier we need to worry about, so, um, oops, we're kind of getting all messed up over here, uh, so I think we're, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure we really focus our attacks on just a couple of hexes, we're going to go here, now there's eight British defensive factors on Mount Ken Kemmel, um, which is going to be treated as rough, so it's in the hex, or it's in the, uh, the Allied Trench with roughs, so that's a minus two. We're going to get plus two for the Stoss led attack on the first combat turn. Um, so that's going to net us a flat die roll, but we are going to have uh, 17 here and 17 here attacking. So that's 34 to 8. I um, think we'll do. Uh, let's see. Yeah, 34 to 8, and that's 4 to 1 odds. So 4 to 1 odds, straight up, die roll. I rolled a 
three. So uh, for one odds, that's two step losses. So we do you know one, one, two, oops, and have. Well, I guess we have to take the first first step loss off of Stoss and then two and then three. So not not the best attack. We would have liked that to have gone better if we could. Um, next I think we want to have these attack these guys and we'll use so that'll be sixteen with 17, so 20, 33. We'll use our artillery. Um, maybe we won't use our artillery. 33 to 7, that's 4 to 1 odds. Uh, and it'll be a net plus 1. So 4 on the 4 to 1 is 2 and 2. Um, so we could take step loss and a step loss and hold there and we'll lose like so and then finally we're not getting as far as I would have liked honestly but finally we attack here and we could do so that would be 17 plus 15 so, 32 to 4, um, it would be a plus 2 to our die roll, 38, yeah, 30, so that's going to give us, what, 7 to 1 plus three to the die roll because of us going off the chart. Good thing that uh, we have a plus three. So a four on the seven to one is three to three. So this guy's gonna be eliminated. I'm gonna take three step losses. One, two, three. Advance after combat. And Let's see, do we have any other combats that we would want to do? Um, we could attack down here, I guess. 17, 22 to 4. 22 to 4 with a plus 1. So 5 to 1, plus 1. And we got a 5. So this guy's eliminated. And we have two, so we do one, two, and advance after combat. So that's pretty good. That's not bad. Um, so now we would have infiltration movement. So what we could then do is, uh, let's see, we could move like so. I'm a little nervous about that move, but we would take RS for two. So we go up to 17, then go down to 13 morale. Um, and let's see what where else would we want to do that. Uh, do do it here. Do one here. Here, one here, okay, so we would do the advance after combat like that, or not the advance after combat, infiltration movement, and then the second combat phase, let's see, we would probably look to attack here, I guess, at the Canadians, but they have 11. We would be attacking with 11, 14, or I'm sorry, 11, 15, 
20, 26 to 11. That would only be 2 to 1 odds. Stosslet attack, but a con uh, concentric attack. Hmm. Yeah, 11, 15, 26, 26 to 11. Um, that might not be worth it, but yeah, it would just be 2 to 1 odds. Plus one. Two months plus one. That's actually not so bad. Um, but we wouldn't eliminate them, so maybe we let that go. I moved him up there. I might have just did a cheat move there. I can't remember if that unit had moved or not. Um, Maybe we would have had this unit move out than this one. That'd be 11, 21, 32. And then we could make it 33 by, well, no, not 33. Dang. It's hard. It's hard. It's like I can't get any more combat factors in here. Um, as much as I would like to. Uh, twenty one, twenty seven, thirty two. Yeah, can't quite get three to one odds. That's just a real shame. Um, but we'll we'll see what we can get. So two to one plus one. We got a six, so two and two, so um, we don't want to lose the Canadians, we'll lose the British unit, and we'll hold the Vimy Ridge. Oh, I'm sorry, that should have been, okay, a 5 instead of a 6, and that's still 2-2, two two. so, do, uh, 1, 2, um, let's see, now we're, where else do we want to go? Um, we could attack here, that would be... 12, 16, 32, 38 to 6. That'd be 6 to 1 odds. And six to one odds minus one, I think is what that would be. one unit here to get a concentric attack. So B thirty eight forty two forty two to six. I like those odds. Um so that's seven to one plus or seven to one flat. We roll a one. Frickin' terrible. Hmm. Hmm. Seven to one. Let me make sure I got that. Forty-two. We'd have plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. Yeah. Okay. So get rid of one unit, and then I could retreat. One, and we'd have to take four step losses here. So one, two, three, four. Advance after combat. We didn't take Eep or anything, but that was as good as it gets. And then here, final attack would be ten. 
15, 20, 30, 45, 45 to 5, uh, 9 to 1 odds, and would be plus 2, plus 4 to the die roll, so this should be easy. Yeah. So these guys, um, yeah, definitely eliminated. We'll take a step loss in advance after combat. Okay, um, I think that is it for the second combat phase. Terminal supply doesn't really matter. I mean, we've definitely shattered the line quite a bit, though many of our units are kind of beat up. I think that's pretty. That's a pretty good. <laughs> that's a pretty, pretty good effort there. Um, I don't think there's going to be much that the uh, British are going to be able to do to counterattack. We've hit them so hard. Um, I think is the important thing. So we'll we'll have to see how well this crops up. I'm going to do a cut here. We're going to switch it over to the Allied turn as they desperately try to get things back in order um, after the epic attack there. Uh, we did pick up some morale points as the Germans were very likely going to get more. So it'll come down to uh, what happens next. Okay, getting to the Allied turn. I sort of skipped ahead a little bit. I did the replacements and so um, I got them heavily uh, set up as much as I could, um, replacing units and getting units back on the board. We did lose the Portuguese unit, which is gone uh, forever, basically. Um, but uh, yeah, that's as much as we could do. Um, And then I did the strategic movement, uh, which, ugh, I just realized I, I have to fix something there. I shouldn't have been able to move that unit up. Um, but yeah, so, okay, anyway, um, I just want to say, I, it, my camera screwed up. Um, I reinforced strategic moved, otherwise moved. Oh, I guess I did, okay, so I kind of cheated a little bit. For. Okay, so I want to make sure I avoid cheating. Um, managed to get some guys back on the board as the British, and it's funny how fast it moves, right? They, You can rebuild the units, they reinforce on the ports up there, and then I strat, strat moved a couple of them into Belhoon, or I'm sorry, Hasbrook. I probably didn't need to do that, um, but... Uh, I did move units sort of down here. Um, one, two, three, four, yeah, I don't know. Um, I, but I got to move down here. So so we're trying to seal the uh, the breakthrough down here. We're pulling units off the line to try to get to a point where we can halt the Germans because they could swing down this way and, and pose a problem. Um, not that the Germans even really have the capability to create some big, large encirclements. I mean, that's just not going to happen. But they're going to try to roll up one way or the other. Um, and so they're trying to they're trying to find a way to come up, back up through and stop them. They don't have enough firepower to knock these guys out really yet. So now we get to the first uh, Allied combat. I do have a French combat that I'd like to conduct, which is down here. Um, and it's targeted on this hex. So we're going to have 8, 13... 17, 21, 22, 28 to 6. That comes out to be 4 to 1. Um, the tanks will nullify the trench. Um, so it's just straight up 4 to 1. And we'll see what we roll. And that's 1. Uh, that's not good. So we take a step loss. We won't retreat, but we lose the French. The camera's really not happy with it right now. So we lost the tank for one, 
this cab for two more. Um, so that gives us three, and we need to take one more step loss. So we'll take it off this cavalry as well. I don't know if there's any rule against the cavalry, but they're weak, and it's easy to soak up losses with them. So that didn't work out very well. Um, uh, where else can we attack? Well, um, probably the only other places that make sense are going to be along the line here. And do we want to try to make a counterattack around here? Well, um, this guy is going to be screwed, uh, I think, no matter what. Um, oh, I don't want to know. Let's see, his... Okay. We need to keep this guy here to protect this guy's supply line. So, oh, man. Yeah, it's, this is this is tough. Um He's trapped, no matter what. This guy is trapped. I can't get him out. But at least I can keep him in supply, I guess. Um, and provide a retreat path. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, we could try to attack. Let's see. 4, 11... Fourteen, fourteen to ten. Is that worth it? <laughs> uh, and then the river is going to be a problem. So maybe, maybe that's why we did. We said we. Oh man, I don't know. This is kind of a tough call. Uh, what do we do? Fourteen to ten. Minus one. No tank can cross it. Never mind. Oh man, I don't know what I can do. This isn't good. This is actually really bad. I don't know where the British can attack. Um, no tanks across the river. So it was stupid of me to put that tank there. I should have thought through that differently. Um, yeah. yeah, this is unfortunate. Um, and I don't want to correct it too much. Where can we attack? Where is it worthwhile to attack? Besides where we already tried. Um, I don't know. I think I think I mismanaged the allies a little bit here. I didn't get them. It was hard to get them back here to plug this up, and now they really can't. Um, so we'll say the allies don't make any more attacks. I mean, the only thing they could try... Nope, that's a German. Ugh. I could try to do a suicide attack on this guy to take Aris back, but he would mo almost certainly die. Um, and we'd lose the Canadians. We don't want to do that yet. Ah, uh, man, I just don't know what to do. Uh, maybe I can't do anything. We go to the second combat phase. We could try to attack down here again. And this would be eight... 9, 13, 22, so it would be 4 to 1 odds, but then it would be a minus 2. And, well, yeah, we could try that. 4 to 1 odds minus 2 is a 1. So uh, they take 4 step losses, 1, 2, 3, 4. And one loss, which we could retreat, and then could move up like so. So the French have taken a hex, um, which is good, and they forced the Germans back, but uh, I, I don't know how well that's going to go for them here. It, it certainly, you know, was worthwhile to try. Um, and then that's it, uh, I think. Um, I think that's all we can do. So that's turn one. Uh, done. All right. Just moving very swiftly. We got to turn two. Um, I spent a very large amount of the uh, German uh, replacement points, but not all of them. We actually still have like eight left um, or so, but I refreshed everybody, um, flipped everyone full strength. We didn't lose any units, so we're just topping everybody off. And we did regular movement, which we couldn't get very far. There's only so many places to go in the locked zocks keep us from moving too far. Um, but we're in a pretty good position here, I think, to kind of blow through these guys, smash through here some more, and just have really put uh, the British in, in a tough position. 
Um, the British are also going to be low on replacement points, so whatever we do to smash them here, it's going to be much harder for them to sort of come back, um, I think. So this is going to be really important. Now we've, we've got to watch out for this. I am worried about this a little bit, but I think if we move fast enough it won't matter. So just getting right into the first combat, what I think I want to do is attack here, and that's 16, 17, 33, plus our mega artillery here, 48 to 5, that's 9 to 1 odds, B plus 1, so plus 1 for the Stoss lead attack, but minus one for the Allied Trench, so that it comes out even, but plus one for the Artillery. Um, nine to one uh, ends up being a total of plus three, because you get two extra pluses for high odds um, via the optional rule, which we are playing with. So uh, it's going to be seven on the seven one chart, plus three. Um, whew. So yeah, this guy is totally nuked and annihilated. Um, and we take one step loss, which, um, we'll do here, and we'll move these guys in. Uh, and then we'll have an attack on the Canadians here, and that will be, um, 11, 12, 23, 7, 3 to 1 odds, straight up, I think. Oh no, minus 1. 3 to 1 odds, minus 1. Um, 13, 11, 12, 23, 7, 3 to 1 uh, I guess this isn't a concentric attack. Oh, yeah, I should have left a guy over here. That would have helped a lot. Okay. That didn't, that didn't work. Um, okay. All right, so we rolled a five. Um, okay, so what are we looking at here? 31 odds, five, two and two. He can't retreat because he's just going to take the losses anyway. So the Canadians are out of the game. We take two step losses. We'll do one, two, and advance after combat. Oh, um, I would have had to have taken up here this as a Stoss loss. So we'll do that up here. That's fine. Oops. Okay, so... Bam, we've totally broken through here. Um, where else do we want to attack? Probably, well, he's protected by the river. That's going to be one problem. Um, we could do something up here, maybe. That's 11. 11. 7 to 11. Yeah. We would want to try over here to get across, so that would be... Four should be twelve. Seventeen, so twenty-nine. Twenty-nine plus eighteen. Forty-seven. Four. Yeah, that's a lot. Um, I think this attack will go well. Uh, 12, make sure I got that right, 12 plus 17, 20, yeah, 29, 35, 41, 47, 47 to 4, 47 to 4, yeah, man, that's crazy, that's 11 to 1, um, which, I mean, to be honest, that's still plus 3 and a 7 to 1. Yeah, he's nuked. Um, 
take one step loss and we'll take it here these guys can all advance after combat and that's the first combat phase done for the second term is the Germans things are really nasty for the British uh, understandably um, and so we're gonna do infiltration movement so I think what we'll do is just getting everybody out sort of one hex we pick up a morale and Belhun this way. I think we're going to move out this way. Move like so. And like so. And I think that's good like that. Um, so yeah, that is fantastic. And then we're going to have second combat phase. So what can we even do here? Well, um, the tanks are going to be one thing we can try to knock out. Um, so it's really, do I want to take out the the Australians and these guys or what um, hmm the 11 plus 12 23 to 4 hmm I mean, I'm probably better off just eliminating these guys if I can. Um, these guys are still going to be okay for supply unless I knock this guy out. So I do think we want to try to attack these guys here. So we'll be let's see, 12. 11, 23 to 4. It's not great. Not great odds. Um, maybe what I could have done is shift like this, and that would give me a concentric bonus, so maybe I would do that. And that would be still the same, same odds. So, yeah, 20, 23 to 4... It's five to one odds. Uh, minus one for the Stoss led Allied Trench attack, but plus one for the Stoss, so that's flat. Minus one due to the Marsh, but plus one due to the Concentric attack. So this is five to one, straight up die roll. We got a three, which is a four and two. So, can you retreat him up? Do four step losses, so one, two, three, four, which is not great, mind you. And then if we attacked here, it would be seventeen. And 11, so 28, 38 to 11 would be 3 to 1 odds. Uh, that wouldn't be quite enough either, would it? We could do 12 and 17, 29 to 5, 8. Eight. Hmm. Be whew. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. Um. I think attacking here is probably the better idea. 
I think. So, yeah, we would have 5, yeah, 8, but attacking with 12, 18, 24, 29. Would not be a concentric attack, unfortunately. Um, would they get any other bonuses? Uh, no. Um, hmm. So it would be three to one odds with a plus one from the star sled attack. We could certainly hurt him. Yeah, we'll do it. So we got a five, so two and two. So I'm gonna have to look to see how far they can retreat. Because um, they've got a stacking problem back here. So, uh, hmm. So we have to take two. Um, I don't think we have to have the tank take the first step losses here. So we could do two. Ah, man. You lose one and then retreat the rest of these guys. And take another step loss and end up here, because we're going to retreat through an Ezoc. But I'd rather, I'd rather have that happen, I guess. So we would take one, two, and advance these guys, and advance these guys. So yeah, I mean that's 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 good. Okay, um, that's the second combat phase. Nothing to worry about for terminal, and we're going to go over to the allied side. Now, um, in terms of allied supply, these poor guys are out of supply. Everybody else is fine, and then we've got replacements. So we're going to get some new replacements on the board. The British are going to get two. The British are going to get one, and then we're going to do that. So I'm going to take care of the re reinforcements, um, replacement re reinforcements, strategic movement, and then we'll do the regular movement and figure out what the Allies can do to salvage this because things are effed right now for the British. Okay, so uh, here we are after the British or the Allied movement, uh, the French are pushing their advantage, moving through the break in the line they got, sort of the, in the center. It's not much. Um, they did rebuild their tanks, but they're not going to be able to move because they strat moved this turn. Um, you can kind of see that the British are trying to pull off down here to try to form something resembling a new line, at least throwing Zox in the way of the Germans so it's not a complete, complete washout here. But you can see, I mean, things are getting kind of dicey. Um, We've got those guys out of supply that are going to potentially be eliminated. It's all going to come down to one really important attack, I think. Um, so, yeah, that, that's kind of where we're at. Um, we put the Americans, had them rail up into the ch uh, channel port so that they're not empty. Uh, because the British right now are, <laughs> you know, ba basically... Um, oh, I forgot to flip. So yeah, well, now we're back down to zero replacement points for the British. They're, I mean, they're stressed, um, and the, the Americans are going to have to bail them out. So that that's what we need to do. Um, and now we'll look at combats. So just down here, we could look at an attack. It would be twelve to six. That's two to one odds. Um, two to one odds, and a German trench minus one. Um, well, yeah, we could see what happens. And of course we roll it two. So it takes a step loss. We have to take three step losses, which we will just take all along this way. So 
Could be worse, but we're trying. Trying to make something happen here. Um, we have a breakthrough of sorts, so uh, that'll work, I think. Um, then for the British, uh, I don't think along this line they can do much. They could try to attack here, but I think that, let's see, that would be 10 to 6, 10 to 6, 1 to 1, minus 2, eh, that wouldn't, no, that's probably not worth it. So really the question is what do the Allies do up here to save their, their butts? Well, they can try to make an attack over here, it would be 9 to 12, which 1-1 one, one odds, that might even be 1 to 2 odds, something like that. Minus 1. Now that would be bad, I think. Uh, so the real thing is they could try to re restore supply up here. So this would be um, Belgian units are still in Belgium. They would be attacking a hex in Belgium, so that's all right. Um, so it would be 8, 18, 18, 23, and so 2 to 1 odds, plus 2, plus 3, 2 to 1 odds, Ugh, we get plus 1 for, Bel for Belgium, Belgian units, plus 1 for the tanks, and then uh, plus 1 for the concentric attack. So this might be worth it, when I'm just trying to see... Oh, no, it's only a plus two, because uh, the Belgians get the bonus if they're defending. Okay. Two, one, plus two. All right, we'll try it. All right. Um, oof. Okay, so we do... We actually eliminate these German units. They take three losses. They can't get rid of very many. They still take two. So we'll take the f tank, and then we'll take a Belgian loss, um, but we'll advance, and that will get us a reestablished supply line, then a secondary, you know, a, then the next attack phase. Let's see, 9 to 5 is not going to do it. Um, or would it? Try that down there. Um, I don't think there's any other attacks that really make sense. We could try down here, uh, and it would be five, eight, eight to five, not double. So one to one minus one. Yeah, that's all too dangerous. I don't think we want to we want to do that. So I think that's I think that's the Allied turn. I think that's all they can do. But they will have restored supply to these guys, so that'll go back. All right. Um, now that's turns one and two. Um, I think maybe I'll call that a video. So turns one and two of the Redux done, and we'll look to do turns three and four in the next video. I think, guys. So thanks for watching. Take care. Keep on gaming.